Okay, so what we're doing here is we're playing on the 7th fret of the A string to the 5th, 6th, and 9th fret of the D string. So you're going... Then 9 and 7 on the A string, or on the G string. Back to the 9th fret of the D to the 11th G. 9th on the D and finishing the riff on the G string, seven and nine. And that is the main riff to uh, Day Tripper by um, the Beatles, which Paul McCartney was playing the bass, which Paul McCartney is a beast on the bass. He's, a, he's an underrated bass player. And then you're gonna be playing uh, the next riff that goes like this. Hey, this is a very underrated bass player, Paul McCartney, but the riff, second riff goes like this. So what you do here is, guys, you're playing the open A string, then 3rd and 4th fret of the A, and going to the D string 2nd fret and G string 2nd fret, and then playing the open G, and you're going to hammer on from the 2nd fret of the D string to the 4th fret of the G string. That's how I play it anyways. And then you're going to play the 2nd fret of the D string to an open G, and then finishing the riff with the second fret of the G string. So hopefully that helps you out, guys. Because honestly, this riff is sick. You guys should be listening to more Paul McCartney. That was a beast on the uh, bass. That said, guys, those are the two main riffs I wanted to teach you through the song. And these are what I think repeat repeatedly over and over and over through the song. So uh, with that said, that's Day Tripper by... The Beatles, one of the best bands ever. So with that said, please rate, hate, comment, subscribe, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Peace.